They're the home crowd advantage. I think everything is on a roll. They're looking pretty tough. And what about Ohio State? You can't count them out. They have 12 seniors this year, and they know if they're going to do it, this is the year they have to do it. So we have three teams battling for the national championship. Penn State, Nebraska, and Ohio State. <laughs> CBS Sports presents the 1985 NCAA Men's Gymnastics Championship. This CBS Sports special is sponsored by Nissan. We're changing our name from Datsun to Nissan. Known for high-quality cars and trucks, Datsun is now Nissan. Quaker State Motor Oil, now in new easy-to-pour and easy-to-reseal bottles. And by the Menon Company. All over the world, Menon products take care of people who take care of themselves. Step of today's competition, the teams rotate among three different events. The floor exercise, the pommel horse, and the rings. Home team Nebraska drew the rings for their first event. We feel good about starting on, on rings. I'd rather start on rings than pommel horse, so uh, I feel we, we've got the luck of the draw in that sense. The Nittany Lions of Penn State begin on the always tricky pommel horse. It was very successful for us last night, so it's almost like uh, walking in and just uh, repeating that performance if we can. And, uh, I, I think we'll be able to handle it. A lot of coaches don't like to start on pommel horse, as you know, uh, first, but in our situation, I think, um, I hope it'll be okay. Ohio State comfortable starting on the floor relative to their competition. It's difficult to uh, maintain your, your composure sometimes on pommels. Uh, rings, the same thing. You can overdo things a little bit on rings. Obviously, the adrenal fluid helps you on uh, crosses and things, but... Uh, you can just uh, just let everything go on floor, and I think that's an advantage. We pick up the competition in the first rotation with Spider Maxwell, the 19-year-old sophomore out of Penn State. And Bart Connor, why is the horse such a tough place to begin? Well, John, you know at the beginning of the competition, you have all that energy, all that adrenaline flowing. I think it's very difficult when you have all that juice to contain yourself and keep a very delicate sense of balance that you need to have to do well on the pommel horse. So it could actually backfire on you if you don't relax and control it. Absolutely. There's a good back more, a couple of circles in the middle. Oh, my, oh. Maxwell off the horse. What happened? Okay, it looked like he was a little bit tight and a little cautious when he reached around to do the one pommel work. It was a very difficult skill he was doing, but at the same time, I don't think he was relaxed. Now, Maxwell has 30 seconds to remount and resume his routine. What kind of thoughts are going through his mind? Well, without a doubt, right now, you have to think about the team. He's given up a half a point towards the team score. The rest of the exercise has to be very clean if they're going to stay in their solid position. And Penn State needs a big meet from Maxwell if they're to win this championship. Okay, there's the bump of the horse. He just doesn't seem to be letting it loose yet. A little bit better on the single leg work and scissors. See if he can pick up strong here at the end. Okay, travel to the end. Handstand, full turn. Well, just a little bit of a surprise to see Maxwell have such trouble. You know, he was good all year long. He averaged a 9.5 in this event. He is very good on the palm horse, but I really think, notice he just slipped with his hand there. It looked to me as he reached into the pommel, he wasn't letting it flow. Ooh, 8-6 score for Maxwell. Problems in the first rotation for Penn State. This is young Mike Epperson of Nebraska, ready for the rings. One of three freshmen competing today for Nebraska, and... Coach Francis Allen told us he was a little bit concerned because Epperson injured his ankle just 48 hours ago. I don't think that'll affect him too much on the rings. I know, though, while he's doing the exercise, he's going to be concerned because he's going to have to make a landing on that ankle. He's pretty good on the steel rings. Not outstanding, but he does a very clean routine. There's a nice straddle plunge. He could have held that a little bit stronger. There's an L and a press to a handstand. That's a requirement. Straight arms, straight leg press to a handstand. And, of course, Nebraska relying on its young talent. They don't have a senior competing today. Two good giant swings. Good position. Okay, a little bit over. That'll cost him a tenth or two, but he pulled it back into position. Very well done. Front giant swing. Here's the dismount now. Full twisting double. A step on the dismount. I think he was just a little short of rotation. And you heard the crowd here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center, the hometown crowd, they don't really care. They just appreciate the effort. Here's a nice full twisting double back, a little bit conservative, but you have to know, as he's flipping and twisting, he's got to be thinking about the fact that his ankle is going to sting once he hits the mat. Ooh, it must hurt. That's Mike Epperson of Nebraska. His score, 9.1. Epperson has done a lot better. 
Let's go over and check out Ohio State on the floor. Now, they took advantage of the draw to get off to a good early start. They have done very well. In fact, the first four performers in that event, they've all scored between 9-3 and 9-6-5. And as we said earlier, consistency is going to be the name of the game. You talk about consistent performers. Here's one Noah Riskin, the senior from Ohio State. Nice high, tucked the ball back, and a perfect landing. Notice the form and the execution in flight. And Noah's identical twin Seth, also part of this veteran Ohio State team, which has 12 seniors. That has to help the maturity, the experience. The second run, a full twisting side somersault. Very cleanly done. Yeah. We mentioned Ohio State looking for their first national title ever. And of course, Riskin knows he can be part of history. It's also his last shot as a senior. Notice that, a nice straddled handstand with a straddle leg position. Originality. High side somersault. A very clean exercise. Not one of the most difficult exercises, but one that'll score very well. Because notice all the positions, all the lines are very clean and there's very little room for deduction. Of course, each gymnast expected to cover that 40 by 40 foot square area. Here's his last run. Nice high double twist, and he nails the landing. Great exercise. And look at that expression on Noah Riskin's face. They are serious. It's no nonsense here for the Buckeyes at this national championship. Noah Riskin scored 9.7, so the Buckeyes are off to a really good start. Back at the horse, this is Ian Shelley from Penn State, part of the English Connection, Shelley from Southampton, England. And also, of course, his teammate Terry Bartlett is also from Southampton. Yes, the senior co-captain. What about Shelley on the horse? He swings very nicely. Notice the nice extension and the li lift above the pommel horse. Good position, very nice straight body line. There's the flared circles as he travels to the middle. Now, the scissors here aren't very high, but they're very clean. There's very little deduction in form. Travel to the end of the handstand off. They needed that exercise. They certainly did, of course. Penn State coming into this competition ranked number one, so the pressure is on. There's the single leg work. The hip position could be just a little bit higher, but notice at least that the legs are very nice and straight. Good form. Ian Shelley from Penn State. And he's happy. Look at him jumping around over with Coach Shire. There's a score, 9-6-5, respectable, but Penn State up and down early in this competition. But remember, number one always has comeback capabilities. Nebraska on the rings, that's Neil Palmer, the sophomore from Addison, Illinois. Neil is a very big kid for a gymnast. I think he's 5'9", 160 pounds. Most of us are 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and about 130. It's got to be tough to work the rings. I was just going to ask you, does his size help or hinder him here? Well, any time you have to move around that size of a body, it's got to be more difficult. But he's doing very well. There's a good L. He started with a straddle plunge. It was a little bit weak. But notice, nice position in the handstand, very good control. Now look at, when you get that big body swinging, look at the beautiful swing. Nice extension. The judges, of course, looking for strength and swing moves. There's a front giant, a little bit bend in the arms, but very good. Here's the dismount. Giant swing, full twisting double. Good exercise. The score, 9.4 for Neil Palmer, and you can bet that Coach Francis Allen has to be pleased with his team's performance after the first rotation. You know, they did as well as they could possibly do on the still rings. And they're in second place right now. Ohio State leads. Penn State is in third. 